For this topic, it is finding the x-intercepts and the vertex of a parabola. Finding the vertex of the parabola is what we've been doing all along when we were graphing. So you do need to find the negative b over 2a. So in this case, b is a positive 6 and a is a negative 1. And so then I get negative 6 over negative 2, which turns out to be positive 3. That's the x value. So if I want the y value, I'm just going to plug in that negative 3. And I end up with 16. So the vertex here is going to be the point 3 and 16. Now the x-intercepts occur when the y value is 0. So you're going to take the y value and make it 0 and then try to solve this equation. Now I don't like when my a is negative, so I'm going to move all three of these over to the right. So I get positive x squared, negative x, negative 7 equal to 0. And then you can do the quadratic formula to figure out what the x-intercepts are, but this one is actually pretty easily factorable. So I think that method is faster in this particular case. So these do multiply to give me negative 7, and they combine to give me negative 6. So I get x equals to positive 7 and x equals to negative 1. So when it asks you for the intercepts, you're just going to type in 7 comma negative 1. If they want it in point form, then you type in 7 comma 0 and negative 1 comma 0. So pay special attention to the directions on how they're going to want you to enter your x-intercepts. For the vertex, it has to be in point form. But for the x-intercepts, they may just ask you for the values or they may ask you for the points.